Hi, welcome back to Cadable. And uh, in this exercise, uh, we'll be making this uh, block. This is the third exercise of this uh, SolidWorks basic exercise uh, series. And uh, we'll create this uh, basic block with these uh, uh, dimensions. And I have already created this block and uh, I'll provide this uh, file in the uh, description, which you can download from uh, GrabCAD. And uh, uh, let's start. Just go to new and uh, go to part and press ok and uh, now we are in solidworks interface i'm just uh, cancelling these files just go, uh, make it don't save uh, first of all we'll choose uh, a plane uh, let's say i'll choose a top plane go to sketch and uh, i have already uh, saved this uh, pdf so uh, we'll make uh, a rectangle of 96 by 64 so we'll apply center rectangle and uh, we'll make uh, 64 by in fact uh, 96 by 64 and remember we are using mmgs which are already selected so no need to worry about that and uh, this dimension is uh, 64 mm and uh, now uh, we'll make uh, this is sketch as well and then we'll extrude the uh, all contour at once uh, we can make it uh, using uh, uh, another technique that is uh, uh, we'll extrude the whole rectangle of 96 by 64 and then we'll make uh, another sketch and then we'll make uh, extrude cut but i think uh, the better strategy here is to make uh, in uh, 2d sketch and then we'll extrude the whole contour so uh, we'll make this uh, uh, this cut out and that is 24 mm from here uh, we'll make a line so just go to line and uh, we'll make a line straight line and uh, this line will be uh, this line will be uh, 24 mm from here so just go to SOLIDWORKS again and uh, we'll make 24 and the height of this line is 20 mm as you can see from this PDF that is the height is 20 mm and then uh, we'll make another line of uh, uh, 20 mm and that is uh, 16 mm apart the, uh, the width of this uh, uh, of this cutout is uh, 16 mm so uh, we can use offset entities but I'll not use it I'll make a line of uh, let's say uh, 20 mm and uh, that the distance between uh, these lines are 16 mm and then we'll make uh, a tangent arc and now the sketch has turned into black which means that the sketch is fully defined and uh, uh, I need to apply a trim command here because uh, there is no uh, geometry here and I need to apply a trim command and the sketch is fully defined and uh, now we can uh, make extrusion so go to features go to extruded boss and uh, we uh, we have to make extrusion of 16 mm so we will make extrusion of 16 mm and then we will press ok so uh, the base is ready and just change the background to plain white and uh, that looks uh, great uh, next uh, we'll make uh, uh, this geometry and that is uh, uh, we have to make a rectangle and then we have to make uh, a cutout or a chamfer uh, so we'll make a rectangle uh, from here so just select this face go to sketch and uh, we'll make a rectangle uh, of uh, uh, in fact a corner rectangle just select this line and this line and make uh, collinear so uh, we have to adjust the height of this rectangle and uh, it is very important uh, uh, the height of this rectangle will be uh, in fact uh, first I need to make a chamfer here and that is 20 from the top side and uh, uh, the height of this chamfer will be 30 mm so go to chamfer command 
uh, we can create it manually but uh, uh, i am making it uh, from here uh, this is not equal distance chamfer this is uh, unequal distance chamfer and uh, the distances are 20 and 30 so it is 20 here and uh, uh, in fact it is 20 yes 20 here and 30 here so i need to make it 30 and press ok i think uh, i need to press right so uh, the chamfer command is done and now i can uh, 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 the height uh, from the baseline to this point is 34 mm uh, that's why I created chamfer first the baseline at this point in fact uh, just go to tool again and uh, this height is uh, 34 mm just change it to 34 and uh, the top side sorry uh, the top side is uh, 30 mm from this point from the first point uh, this side and in, in fact uh, uh, it is already done because uh, uh, it is a uh, uh, chamfer dimension so now we can make extrusion on the right side and the extrusion will be 16 mm as well so uh, just exit it uh, just rotating my model I'll go to features go to extruded boss command and uh, we need to select this contour and uh, it is creating uh, extrusion on the uh, left side just uh, change the direction and press ok uh, remember it is uh, 16 so we are not changing it and uh, we are done with this uh, second extrusion next uh, we'll create this cutout and uh, we have to make uh, let's say a rectangle and then a half circle so i think it is uh, here yes uh, just select this face go to sketch and uh, we'll create uh, in fact we'll create uh, a, re a rectangle of 40 and uh, the height of this rectangle will be 28 as you can see from here so a 40 by 28 rectangle and uh, it will be a corner rectangle not a center rectangle and uh, we'll create a rectangle just select this line and this line and make uh, collinear and uh, uh, the height is 28 and the height is 28 and uh, the length of this uh, rectangle is 40 mm so we need to change it to 40 and uh, another thing that is uh, uh, we have to make uh, a half circle of uh, 24 from the center line of this rectangle so just make it normal and uh, we have to make uh, a circle uh, a half circle we will delete the other portion and uh, the dimension is 24 mm and then i need to apply trim command and uh, <coughs> we are uh, done in fact in fact in fact uh, we need to trim this other portion right uh, this portion and this portion right just uh, exit it and now we can make extrusion an extrusion of uh, let's say th this dimension is 64 and uh, it is uh, required that we need to make an extrusion uh, that is uh, 64 minus 22 so it will be uh, 54 44 and 42 so we need to make an uh, extrusion of 42 mm and go to features go to extruded boss command and we need extrusion uh, just make it reverse and we need uh, we need extrusion of 42 mm and press ok so uh, we are done with this uh, third extrusion and i think it is uh, it is quite right as you can see from the diagram uh, and now uh, 
we have to make a rib of uh, let's say uh, from this line or this point to this line and uh, the uh, the thickness of this rib is uh, 12 mm and uh, not 16 mm as you can see uh, uh, here is 16 and here is 16 but here is not 16 it is 12 it is mentioned here so just make it uh, reverse go to normal and go to sketch and select this face and uh, select this line uh, we can create this from uh, rib command as well as i have uh, created this in the second uh, exercise of this playlist but here i'm not using a rib command just rotate it and uh, uh, go to features go to extruded boss command and uh, just make it reverse uh, remember i have already uh, uh, in fact uh, uh, i have only sketched this line and uh, solidworks uh, uh, is uh, uh, SolidWorks has provided uh, this line so just make it reverse and uh, uh, it is showing the uh, thickness of the uh, previous work but uh, I need to change it to 12 and press ok so uh, I think we are done with this and uh, yes uh, we'll also check it from uh, SolidWorks uh, evaluate command uh, two to three things so that uh, uh, we can uh, uh, we can make sure that uh, this part is uh, right uh, and uh, last but not least uh, uh, we'll provide uh, uh, in fact uh, uh, we'll make it uh, uh, colorful uh, we can uh, use appearances but uh, I think we only need to apply uh, some color right just go to color and uh, I think this color uh, this color is quite fine as you can uh, as you can play with this uh, cursor and uh, you can also change your uh, colors from here and uh, i think it is it is fine uh, in fact uh, let's go to colors again and uh, i think this color yeah uh, it matches with this color so uh, so we are done with this uh, third exercise uh, remember uh, we have to use uh, evaluate command so go to evaluate and uh, we can check our dimensions so let's suppose uh, let's say I need to check uh, this uh, dia so go to evaluate go to measure and just select this uh, it is showing that the radius is 12 mm so a diameter is uh, twice of the radius so the die is 24 and the die is 24 and uh, also I can check uh, this this dimension and uh, just cancel it go to evaluate again and uh, this time I'll check the distance from these two points and it will be 16 mm in fact uh, in fact just cancel it this line and this line and the distance is 16 mm as you can see from here the distance is 16 mm so uh, we are done with this uh, exercise and uh, you can use your uh, uh, section views and you can play with these section views but uh, th this is the basic exercise and uh, remember these section views are very important when you are uh, making a, a complex drawing just cancel it so uh, uh, that's it for uh, today's tutorial i hope you like it and uh, if you have any questions related to this or uh, any other uh, you can ask uh, in comment section thanks for watching and uh, kindly uh, subscribe to our channel for more videos thank you